the Mississippi Hill Country Blues. The name speaks for itself. Basically bluegrass or the old time blues mixing with the fife and drum traditional. Mississippi inspires art and artists, and the Mississippi Arts Commission has a long and successful history of supporting the arts, and the NEA is a huge part of it. No other state in America exemplifies grassroots arts like Mississippi. For years and years, we've been one of the poorest states in the nation, but what happens there is art comes from that and it comes from necessity and people painting on barn wood and painting on the sides of rusty tin. And so folk art comes out of that grassroots effort. We're in the front of my grandfather, Mr. Ulta Turner, Blue Trail. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we are the Rising Stars Fife and Drum Band. My grandfather, Ulta Turner, he basically was the Hill Country. Without Otha Turner and Rising Stars, the Fife and Drum, none of this would even be happening right now for the younger generation. So he paved the way for us in Hill Country music. The National Dominics for the Arts, they picked up my music. From the help of them, I released my second album. Without them, Charlie Blues would never have been created. The Turner Family Picnic is a party that my grandfather started, and he would round up the drummers and just have a good fun party in his backyard. We try to keep that tradition going. Now it's something bigger than I know he would even imagine it would be. We've had people from England and Norway to come over, and this year we had over two or 3,000 people that had to come. And it's like standing in his backyard on the stage looking out. It's like now all the weight is on my shoulders. <laughs> you know, I got to keep this music going in order to keep the picnic going and I know he will be proud to where is that now. The first time I ever saw an encaustic painting was in a small arts magazine and I fell into it. I could see past the surface down into the works of the painting. I just fell in love with it. Encaustic is made, the ancient method is to blend beeswax which melts at a fairly low temperature. Well if you melt that with Damar crystals it raises the melting point of the wax and creates a much harder surface. So I paint with the wax as it's melted and if I want to add color to that I I have powdered pigments that can make very robust, rich color. Or if you add just a little bit and a lot more medium, it'll become like a veil of color. By the time Katrina came, my little town, Waveland, was flattened completely and lost my studio, my home. I had a little red Honda hatchback, and so everything that possibly I would be left with was gonna have to fit into that car. I knew to bring one piece of art. The piece that I brought is this one. It turned out to be the only painting that survived out of 30-something years of art making. The NEA was incredibly helpful and Mississippi Arts Commission in providing some assistance. I lost my computer and everything that went with that, all of my files, all of my images from the work that I had done. The NEA was the difference between finding a way to make a living again and not. And so I'll be forever grateful and sing in its praises. I would like to extend a gracious and heartfelt 50th anniversary to the National Endowment for the Arts. Thank you for what you do. Here's to another 50 years.